بل قالوا أضغاث أحلام بل افتراه بل هو شاعر ذكر فما أنت بنعمة ربك بكاهن ولا مجنون ما هو بقول شاعر قليلا ما تؤمنون أم يقولون شاعر نتربص به ريب المنون يقولون أئن لتاركوا آلهتنا لشاعر مجنون. The Quran claims to be of the highest level of eloquence. It claims that it is distinct from the poetry and rhymes of the soothsayers, that it is the speech of Allah. In the Quran it says, Or do they say about the Prophet he invented it? Say, then bring forth a surah like it and call upon assistance whenever you can besides Allah if you should be truthful. The Quran is claiming that its speech is distinct and unique, inimitable. Various preachers have claimed that the Quran is distinct from human speech. For example, Hamza Surtis in his essay, The Quran's Unique Literary Form, claims the inability of any person to produce anything like the Qur'an due to its unique literary form is the essence of the Qur'anic miracle. The Qur'anic claim is that it is not poetry or rhymes of soothsayers. Why so much insistence on this? Is it because that's what the pre-Islamic Arabs used to think? Upon comparing a few Makkan surahs with the Saj style of soothsayers, the similarities are remarkable. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والمرسلات عرفا فالعاصفات عصفا والناشرات نشرا فالفارقات فرقا فالملقيات ذكرا عذرا أو نذرا إنما توعدون لواقع The following recitations are from soothsayers who lived around the same time as Muhammad and claimed to be speaking to other worldly beings. Surah Zara A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahman ar-rahim Wal-mubazzirat zara والحاصدات حصدا والزاريات قمحا والخابزات خبزا والثاردات ثردا واللاقمات لقما لقد فضلتم على أهل الوبر وما سبقكم أهل المدر ريفكم فامنعوا والمعد Isn't it remarkable how similar it sounds and feels like the Quran? Ask yourself. Is the speech of the Qur'an really that different? Listen to the following pre-Islamic poetry recited by Abdullah Gondal. Surah Sharik Bismillahirrahmanirrahim 
واللوح الخافق والليل الغاسق والصباح الشارق والنجم الطارق والنجم الطارق والمزن الغادق إن شجر الوأد لا يأدو ختلا ويحرق أن ياب عسلا وإن سخر الطود لينذر ثكلا لا تجدون عنه معلا صدق الله العظيم Did you notice how similar this is to chapter 86 at Tariq of the Quran? It even talks about the same star. Was Muhammad simply doing the same as pre-Islamic soothsayers while claiming he was receiving revelation from God? Listen to the following verses that resemble many smaller chapters in the last juz of the Quran. Surah Khosr Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahillazi wa'ada waliyahu nasr وعدوه الخسر وجعلهما إلى آخر الدهر قضعا مقديا ووعادا مأتيا صدق الله العظيم there are a multitude of these kahana one can read. Here is one last example. Surah Qabail. Surah <laughs> There are many one can choose from, as you can see. Here's a couple more examples. We should also ask, why did Muhammad assassinate and kill poets in particular? The list of those killed for writing poetry as recorded in the Sirah include Asma ibn Alwan, Abu Afaq, Al-Nadir ibn Al-Harith, Kaab ibn Ashraf, Abu Rafi ibn Al-Huqaiq, Abdullah bin Qatal, the slave girl Fatana, the slave girl Qureba, Huwayrith ibn Nafid, Kaab ibn Zuhair, Al-Harith Al-Talati, Abdullah bin Zibara, Hubera, all of these are recorded in Ibn Hisham and Ibn Ishaq, and also in Ibn Kathir's Sirat al Nabawiya. Credit to Wiki Islam for compiling this list. It's interesting that the best, most eloquent parts of the Quran are the short Makkan surahs. Yet in that phase of Muhammad's life, he was the least successful in his religious mission, converting people to Islam, and he got frequently criticized for poetic madness. Islam gains its momentum after Muhammad becomes a political leader. It shows that the linguistic power of the Quran 
isn't as effective as one would think. Coming next, a detailed analysis of the Surah Like It challenge and how Surah Fa'qaf was designed to mimic the Quran in its lack of eloquence. You will be surprised. Research and planning for this video was done by Abdullah Gondal. Also credit to Abbas Abdul Noor for writing My Ordeal with the Quran. If you like this video and you haven't read this book, please check it out. There's much more like this in there, as well as references for these rhymes and poems.